if we're going to be in a band, it's got to be like a good thing in your life and not like a stressful thing and not like, oh no, we've got to like practice and we've got to, you know, got to get good for a particular get, gig get good or, or we've got to like make, make it sound like this or that. Yeah. And so it had to be like every practice would like have some beers and just hang out. Why pay a gig on a boat? I guess it's it's just a it's an awesome yeah. thing to do. Like it's not really yeah, it's just cool and yeah. unexpected. Um, also, we recorded on this boat because it's also a recording studio run by uh, this guy Ben, who bought the boat Lightship ninety five when it yeah. was a decommissioned lightship. I'm Ben. We're on my boat. Um, it's my home and my studio. We've never had a party here before, and I've just been working with symbols, and it all seemed to tie in together. It's such a positive atmosphere when they play live, so it's, it's a good thing for a party. We started off just jamming. And we had some, we had some of Jack's songs. We were sort of doing some like post rock and stuff. And I and I think I just had a moment of realization like I don't want to do post rock. It's not it's not right. Yeah. Didn't we talk about wanting to do electronic music? Yeah. Um, with normal instruments. Yeah. When we suddenly thought actually we don't want to make dreary music. And there's just this thing about people all watching a band and it's like the band are trying to communicate this really serious thing. Like we were just really over that. And the idea was that a show like that should just be a party. <laughs> We don't like tend to judge dancing by any kind of criteria or standard. I think stupid, uh, silly dancing is, probably gets more points. And, and, but if it's someone who's like, I don't know, like seems a bit awkward, and they're like really going for it, like that's that's wicked. And there's a lot of bands that take themselves too seriously, and they just don't connect with the audience and symbols through. Wanting to have a good time, it comes across, and everyone does have a good time. Probably, if anyone's the boss, it's probably Jack. Sometimes he'll, he'll give me a look if I get something wrong, but it, ne it never it never comes to blows or anything. Jack, the singer, is sometimes difficult. He knows exactly what he wants, and if you're not gonna be able to help out with that, then then he will let you know. Symbols definitely respect my authority. They know that like, I'm the guy that's in charge of it. I'm like their fourth member, the better looking fourth member. Yeah, Ben's a really good producer and he runs the studio here. It's the best studio I've ever yeah, been yeah. in. But it's just, it's a lovely place to be as well, isn't it? It's yeah. just really chilled. Yeah. I think interesting venues are what it's all about nowadays because everybody's, everybody goes to gigs, like my mum goes to gigs. So I think it's all about the experience. When I've been listening to the cymbals, I just think it's like a very vibrant, very minimalist as well. There's sort of very spare parts to it, but they make something that's nice and sunshine. I really haven't heard a lot of other bands that sound like them at all. Sean's got his parents coming tonight. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My parents haven't seen us play, but um, they're like, oh, play me like what you're doing. And I'll play them and they kind of really want to like it. <laughs> I think my mum says something like, I like 70% of that. <laughs> I've never been to a gig on a boat. Um, I'm enjoying it. You, the kind of the crowd does slightly move starboard or port or whichever it is throughout the set, but you know, if you've got a water leader, why not? When I entered the room and cymbal started, 
the people that were sort of less fit all spilled off to the right hand side because <laughs> their calves weren't quite as strong as the people over there. There's this clear niche and divide of people just tumbling to one side whilst the strong uh, held firm. I was a bit concerned I was going to like die. <laughs> well, when you were on the top of the ant? Yeah. It's even better when we can say safe fun, safe fun.